പ്രിയമുള്ള പ്രേക്ഷകരെ നമ്മുടെ നാട്ടിൽ വന്ന് നമ്മുടെ നാടിനെക്കുറിച്ച് പഠിച്ച് നാടിൻ്റെ സാംസ്കാരികത സാംസ്കാരിക തനിമ സാംസ്കാരികമായിട്ടുള്ള വൈവിധ്യങ്ങൾ ഇതിനെയൊക്കെ പുറം ലോകത്തിന് പരിചയപ്പെടുത്തുകയും കൂടുതൽ കൂടുതൽ ഇക്കാര്യങ്ങളിൽ പഠനം നടത്തുകയും ഒക്കെ ചെയ്ത ഒരു വ്യക്തിയാണ് നമ്മോടൊപ്പമുള്ളത് രാജ്യം പത്മശ്രീ നൽകി ബഹുമാനിച്ച പെപ്പീത സേത്ത് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന വിദേശ വനിതയാണ് ഇപ്പോൾ സ്വദേശിയെ പോലെ നമ്മോടൊപ്പം കഴിഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന അവരെ നമുക്ക് പരിചയപ്പെടാം വെൽക്കം പെപ്പീത വി ആർ റിയലി ഗ്ലാഡ് ടു ഹാവ് യു ആസ് എ ഗസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ടി സി വി ആഫ്റ്റർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ദിസ് റെക്കഗ്നിഷൻ ഓർ യു നോ ബീങ് എ ഫോറിനർ ഇൻ ദിസ് കൺട്രി യു ഹാവ് ബിൻ ലിവിംഗ് ആസ് എ റിയൽ നേറ്റീവ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് കേരള റൈറ്റ് സൊ ആഫ്റ്റർ ലിവിംഗ് ദിസ് മച്ച് ഇയേഴ്സ് ആഫ്റ്റർ സ്പെൻഡിംഗ് ദിസ് മച്ച് ഇയേഴ്സ് ദ ഗ്രേറ്റ് ഇന്ത്യ ഈസ് റെസ്പെക്റ്റിംഗ് യു ഹൗ യു ഫീൽ ആക്ച്വലി ഐ എം ഓവർ വെൽഡ് ഐ എം റിയലി ഓവർ വെൽഡ് I would like to think that people in the rest of India feel but I only know basically about how people in Kerala feel and it's been it has been an outpouring it is people seem so happy there's such a feeling of joy because it is a shared award it is not for me because my inspiration and what persuaded me to keep going was my interest and passion in the rituals of kerala if those rituals were not at least to me of interest i would not have done anything about them so it is obviously the rituals also get an award <laughs> if you see what i mean so uh, it's it's uh, it's just been an extraordinary experience because i think because i keep using this word joy i mean i went to guruayu the day after i got the word a day after a day after and people were just smiling and i felt that i was moving in a kind of magic space where almost i was floating because of the joy almost i think i can say love that seemed to surround me everybody was so happy about it and in fact somebody from the temple said to me you know i think this is the first time gurairappan has had a padma shri <laughs> and yes it's right it's right it is it is his it's very much his because without his blessings and everything what could i have done anyway what could i have done I'm nothing you are very much close to uh, gurairappan you are a real devotee to gurairappan right well and yes. uh, how it became like this i think he was very really cunning <laughs> but that but to, to me you see i i admit i didn't initially have that much interest in krishna to be very frank with you but of course i uh, that that doesn't mean i didn't uh, say my prayers and everything properly for him or at least i think properly but he kind of sort of reached out and got hold of me so that before i really was aware of it my feelings deepened to a very at least for me profound level and uh, it's impossible not to love him because he's full of compassion and love he's not a deity you have to be frightened of or anything so you you feel very comfortable and uh, actually you came to delhi first in india no 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 no, no. i came first well if I actually landed in Mumbai of course it was Bombay then and then I went to Calcutta and this was in 1970 and I followed my great grandfather my mother's maternal my, my maternal grandfather's march from Lac- uh, uh, Calcutta to Lucknow in 1857 <laughs> and there was a, a diary you know yeah the, he had yeah. left a diary I don't know what happened to it but uh, after my mother had died in 1968 this diary appeared and um, I I knew nothing about him um but uh, I thought something about th- this is where Gurairappan was starting his little tricks yeah. he had to get me to India after all yes. so that he produced the diary <laughs> but uh, the diary of course went uh, nowhere came nowhere not no south, not south at all but something happened between calcutta and lucknow where 
I sensed that although in a way I was following colonial history, mm -hmm. I began even then to wonder what was the land those people came to? What were these people like? And slowly as I became, and became aware of them, and people were kind to me, I, I started feeling more interest, more inquiry. And then when I went back to London, my only idea was to come back here. But I, and I came to Kerala the first time in 72, because I was interested in elephants. Yeah, that's what At I went that to time, it was not that comfortable as no, it is no, now in no. living in Kerala. How was that? Well, I, of course, because uh, I had very good friends in Bombay. And though they said, oh, let's see who we know in Kerala. So mm. like that, I had an introduction to Trichur itself. Mm. Um, but I only spent about a week or so because I didn't know where to start. Yeah. You, you know, it's very confusing if you don't know. but. Every time I left, I knew I had to come back, um, like that. And then I, I heard that uh, you had a plan when you came uh, the first time to India. Oh. You had a plan to make a film about elephants and all. Yeah, that's true because I, I, I was a film editor. Yeah. And uh, you tend to think of something in the medium that you know. If you're a writer, you write about it. If you're a photographer, you photograph it. Yes. If you're a filmmaker, you make a film. So, yes, in order to get the money to make the film, I had to take photographs of the sort of use of elephants here. I mean, in the last, whatever that is, 30 years, people's awareness of India and India's awareness of the outside world has multiplied. We, we cannot grasp how things have changed. I mean, I would go back and say I've been to Kerala. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. So therefore, they knew nothing about elephants or how they were used in festivals or like that. But of course, as a result, maybe, it wasn't so easy to raise the money to make a film. Now, you, unless you're immensely wealthy, you need other people's money to make a film. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas maybe you can manage somehow to take your own photographs. So I, for my own interest, I became, uh, I, I decided to do it that way. And so I started taking photographs where I could to begin with of rituals, mostly at those days in and around ritual, of course. And uh, you wrote a book about uh, the rituals in Guruvayur, no? Uh, recently. Yes, like yes, this. yeah. And how was that experience and uh, how was the cooperation of the people uh, in Guruvayu and the people belong to the Devasum and how? I don't know what people think I'm going to say when that question gets asked but I can honestly say the temple was immensely supportive. Nobody, nobody was blocking me or if they were I never noticed it. it was, there was, you see in a way quite a lot of people in the temple had kn known about me mm. because I used to go for Darshan. Yeah. So I wasn't, uh, I mean, they would not have... You were not a stranger there. No, and you know, they, they knew that I would, as it were, behave myself. You know, I, I wouldn't do something out of, I suppose. I, it was an extraordinary experience. It changed me immensely, I think, because I never realized that it would take so long. I'm not sure if I would have done it if I'd realized. I thought maybe one or two years, maximum three years. Actually, it was seven. Because when they started opening up, how do you stop it? I felt if they're telling me these things, if they're explaining these things, it is increasing knowledge of the extraordinary way that that temple functions. And I, I, had, I knew I had, to, despite my doubts, and uh, I had a lot, I had a lot of problems with myself yes. <laughs> because it was hard. Mm -hmm. But I always knew that Guru Ayurapan was helping me, and that Guru Ayurapan's people were help, helping me. So even when I was at my most depressed, after about three years, it was very difficult. There was always something that would happen that would lighten me and keep me going. And the, the, the temple was remarkable, I think, in the way that they just... 
and learning all these Sanskrit words and all, no. And understanding these words also very difficult. Yeah, of course, of course. But I was very lucky in, uh, I knew, already knew uh, Chitona Rayan and Nambudri Padri. And he had rung up at, right at the beginning and said, who is teaching you the, the, about the concepts of the puja and everything? I said, nobody, because my theory was if I, if I didn't think about it, it would disappear. Um, and he said, okay, come, come and I'll do it. So that gave me a kind of foundation from the ritual point of view. And he was immensely patient. And uh, I have the greatest respect for him. I, and it was a wonderful experience too. It is because I think uh, while you uh, go to this temple center and even while you take photographs also, there is a respect in you. Yeah. Before uh, standing in front of the sanctum and sanctorum like that places, yeah. holy places. Yeah. But, uh, what to say, we cannot see this much respect even the Malayali photographers and all, no. I, 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 I don't think that's for me to comment on. I mean, I do what I think is necessary, what I think is correct. It's other for other people to do it. Yeah, by taking, for even taking photographs, uh, there is the devotion, still there you is see, the devotion. You see, I, I did the book, I, did the, I had two objectives in the book. One was uh, what I felt, I often felt a complete failure because for so many years I'd been taking so many photographs which so many people were not interested in. I couldn't get anybody interested in doing a book of the ritual photographs. I couldn't get any real sustained interest. So you begin to doubt. Actually you start doubting very early. But I would doubt my own talent, my own photographs, my own writing. That I could doubt but I never doubted what inspired me. And so when the, a chance came to actually do the book, not necessarily to get it published, because I worked for, I think, three or four years without a publisher, but at least I felt this could be a chance to, in a way, show my gratitude to Kerala yeah. for what Kerala had been giving and giving and giving with me apparently doing nothing yes. and also I wanted to do something to honor Gurairapan. So the great blessing that I have had is I think, I, for me, I fulfilled what I wanted to do. Anything else that comes is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs>